Parents Podcast, and of course, this is Raw Athlete Show, and we on the road to, of course, WrestleMania, and of course, WWE Fastlane, and of course, this is another edition of WWE Shows, and if you haven't already, go ahead and check out all the stuff down below, in the below, and if so, comment down below too, because let me know what you thought of Raw, and what you're looking forward to at WrestleMania, and of course, WWE Fastlane, and check out the iPhone that up there, and of course, check the latest room right here. And that's all, yeah. So let's get into it, shall we? And it is literally 3.30 because I forgot to record this video. And my camera was really being a butthole and the lighting was a butthole. So it's just one of those things. I'm sure the editing software would add on to the buttholes. All right, let's get you on. Okay, Raw after the show, let's get on to it. All right, Raw opens up with the video package showing Roman Reigns revealing his battle with leukemia to the WWE Universe. Reigns comes out when the show goes live. The crowd gives him a warm welcome. He looks a little nervous, but still takes time to give everyone long. The Azzle a high five. The big dog takes his time going around the ring to acknowledge all the things at ringside. The crowd chants Roman Reigns for several seconds as he looks around and every thankful look on his face. They chant welcome back as he grabs the mic. Alright, he starts, starts about thinking of everyone and it says he will probably say that a lot. And he says he missed the fans and talks about how there is no other friend base like them in the world. And the crowd chants this is his yard and the lighting hopefully did not just change. Um, anyway, so it's going on. Um, um, and of course he says this is our yard. He starts talking about how scared he was to reveal his di diagnosis. Trying to say that word properly today. Alright. Reigns uh, says he was overwhelmed by the level of support he said about the WWE Universe. He says the whole situation has given him a new purpose. Um, he says he used to talk about titles but now he just wants to make sure he can step into the ring every night. Even though I really can't wait for him to start again. Okay, anyways. Alright, he vows to use his platform to raise awareness and support those in need uh, like he once was. But, can we just quote that? Because when I checked the, the the shirt that he was wearing, I thought maybe that WWE would put, I don't know, 100% of the proceeds go to a cause, 50% of it, even some type of percent goes to a cause, right, for leukemia. That's what I thought, maybe. Because you know how they do the, the breast cancer awareness. So I thought maybe they would do that to raise awareness for, you know, all that. But when I went to go look at the shirt, there was I didn't see nothing on there about any of the calls being donated to leukemia or helping those in need or whatever. I'm just I'm just I'm just curious. Not hanging the reins, but I think they would be really need to look into that because they want to help raise awareness, right? Well, that's one way. Have more money to support the people who are in need. I'm just saying. Okay, it was let's get on. Alright, okay. He says he'll probably get to uh, the, uh, the, the WWE uh, advertise, blah, blah, blah. Um, he eventually announces that he is in remission, which is awesome. Kudos to him. Um, he screams, the big dog is back in the crowd chants, welcome back. He thanks the crowd one more time before his music plays in the segment. Seth Rollins comes out on the stage and hugs his shield brother. Ambrose didn't come out, which was odd given the situation as like last time, but I heard that he might have been upset or something. They wouldn't come out. I don't know. I don't really know. Um, okay. Alistair Black and Ricochet versus the rival. The rival attacked Black and Ricochet before the match started. Alistair Black and Richard played one. Elias is uh, trying to perform, but he's interrupted by Lacey Evans and then by Dean Ambrose. Elias tries to play his song again after Ambrose says that he wants a no qualification match against Drew McIntyre. Ambrose eventually hits 30 Ds and leaves. The Rice Squad of, comes out before Elias is even out of the ring for Elias. Alright, Ronda Rousey and of course Natalia versus uh, Riot Squad. Damn, yeah, that's the word of some more. Alright, Becky Lynch comes out of the out of the crowd. Alright, hold on. Shoot. Um, uh, several resistors to keep them apart. Um, some uh, cops come down to arrest Lynch just like Triple H said that they would if she showed up again. Ronda Rousey comes to the ring and demands Vince McMahon come to the ring. Stephanie Music hits and she comes out instead. Okay, we're going to try to speed this along because I just realized that call is very important. So I got to try my best. Okay, Rousey demands that Stephanie... Um, we're going to take Becky and Stephanie gets angry. She says Rousey has a bad attitude. Nobody's bigger than WWE. 
Rousey says she is owned by the McMahon family. She says the title means too much to this to let this happen. She lays the belt and the ring leaves. What does that mean? Does she, did she just re, you know just, just give the title away? Is she just trying to make a statement? I don't know. She's getting on. Kurt Angle versus Jinder Mahal. Kurt Angle won. Um, Alexa Bliss is out again with her stupid Bliss of the Moment thing with, of course, Baylor. And um, we're just going to speed it along. Uh, eventually, of course, Leo Rush, I guess, is trying to get a title match for Lashley. But he seems like he wants it. But anyways. Um, Finn Balor versus Leo Rush for the IC title. Finn Balor retains the IC title. Ron Strummer versus Bobby Lashley. Strummer runs around the ring and runs both men over his music hits and he walks away. So no action match actually can't pace. Takes place? Okay. Dean Ambrose versus Drew McIntyre in a no disqualification match. Elias comes down and smacks Ambrose for the guitar. He sets him up for McIntyre uh, so McIntyre can hit the claimer kick for the pin and the win. Lashley and Corbin come down to join in the beating of Ambrose. Eventually Rollins and Reigns come out to help for the save. Um, to take out all four men, we're attacking Dean, Reigns, ends it with a smear to McIntyre. They end up leaving before, of course, Amber recovers. And then they look back at each other as Ambrose is getting up. The start of the shield reunion, I wonder. Um, and do 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 um, Before Ambrose leaves, as you guys know. Um, yeah, uh, anyways. Bailey versus uh, Nia Jax. Bailey won. The roster is on the stage after the break. Um, the ring is decorated for Ric Flair's birthday celebration. Um, Triple H and Stephanie make their way out. Uh, Shawn Michaels comes out. Eventually, Ricky Steamboat. Steen come out. Um, we see a video page of Charlie, Ric Flair and Stephanie McMahon that reveals the costume title for Flair. Um, Ric Flair doesn't come out eventually, but we see we go backstage and see Batista. He pulls the non-conscious Flair out of his dressing room so Triple H can see him. He asks, is, is, does he have um, Hunter's attention now? Triple H runs backstage, finds Flair on the ground. He yells for a doctor. As the show goes off the air, I smell a Batista vs. Triple H match at WrestleMania. I dig it. Rating 80 out of 80. Pretty awesome show leading to WWE Fastlane and WrestleMania. Wish there was less commercials though. Anyways, that's all I have for guys today. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys soon for Smart Town Live Show. Subscribe, smash that subscribe button down below, smash it over here. Check it out over here. Check it out as always. And comment down below what you plan on Raw but social support to WrestleMania and of course Fastlane. And I'll see you guys soon. And until then, hope you guys have a great day. Bye!